Hi everyone, and welcome to Field Pulse 360 Lite. My name is Libby, and today we're going to take a look at the features that take Field Pulse estimates and invoices to the next level. Let's get started. When building an estimate in Field Pulse, you can provide your customer with multiple options to choose from and include add on options to increase your profitability. Let's take a look at how to provide your customer with options, add on options, and then what the experience will be like for them. To get started, you can add options by pressing the Add Estimate Option button at the top of the Options section. You can add as many options as you need or remove options if you no longer want to offer them. To add items to each option, you have a few different selections to choose from. If you have the price book enabled, you can easily select flat rate jobs to upload as an option. You can add groupings or insert bundles or simply search your line item repository to add your desired line items. For this first option, let's select from our price book. Now that I've created my first option, I can complete my estimate here, or I can give my customer the power to choose from multiple selections. I can duplicate this first option and adjust it or create a brand new estimate option by pressing this button. For this option, I'm going to add items directly from my line item repository. When you're ready to provide your customer with add-on options, you'll want to press Create Add-on Options. This will create a second section on their estimate that looks quite similar to the first, but these will be optional for your customer to select from. This is a great way to upsell your customer and increase your profitability, as well as offer things like upgraded hardware, maintenance agreements, or extended warranties. You'll add items to the add-on section the same way you added them to the traditional estimate options by using the price book, line item repository, bundles, or creating groupings. You can also create multiple add-on options and allow your customer to choose as many of them as they'd like. Now that I've created options for my customer to choose from and provided them add-on options to increase my profitability, let's take a look at how this estimate will appear to them. When you send the estimate to your customer or show it to them on your mobile device, they'll be able to select between option one and option two. They can examine these two and make their selection, which will appear on the left side of their estimate. They can then scroll down and select any or all add-on options that they'd like to include in their estimate. You'll notice that the left side of the screen is constantly updating with the options and add-ons your customer has selected, giving them an accurate estimate of the price that they'll be expected to pay when the service is completed. On Field Pulse estimates and invoices, you're also able to apply a consistent markup or margin to all of your line items in order to ensure a specific amount of profitability. Let's take a look at how to set up markups and margins, but before we do, be sure that you have unit costs set up for all of your line items. It's from these unit costs that Field Pulse will calculate the accurate markup or margin, so leaving these blank is going to make this feature more difficult for you to use. To apply a consistent markup or margin to your entire estimate or invoice, press the Apply Markup slash Margin button. You can then choose to apply a markup of a certain percentage to all the items in your estimate or to achieve a margin of a certain percentage by adjusting the prices of all of the items in your estimate. This is up to your discretion, but you can choose either one and even preview what it will look like by seeing the new total displayed on this page. When you're happy with the changes that you've made, press confirm and you'll watch the unit price of all line items automatically adjust. This is a great way to ensure that you've achieved a certain margin or you've marked up all of your items consistently without having to edit each and every line item. Of course, if you want to apply a specific markup or margin to individual line items, you can always do that on a line item by line item basis. Another great way to add line items to an estimate or invoice that are always added together is by creating and inserting bundles from your company settings. After you've set up bundles in company settings, you can search for and automatically import these bundles onto an estimate or invoice. This will save you time by bringing items that are consistently added together onto the estimate or invoice, and as well, it will make sure you don't leave any important line items behind. Select from one of the groupings that you've previously created 
and select whether you'd like to place these items in a grouping or add them individually. When I select that bundle, all of the line items that I've placed in the bundle will be easily added to my estimate or invoice with a single click. If you have many line items on your estimate or invoice or want to hide some of the details from your customers, using a grouping may be a good option for you. To add a grouping, press Add Grouping and then give your grouping a title. You can then adjust the visibility for your customers. You can make it so that they can view both the individual line items housed under each grouping and their prices, only view the line items without their prices, or simply view the grouping title and description. This is up to your discretion and the amount of detail that you'd like to provide your customer. Once you've created your grouping, click and drag the line items underneath the grouping that you'd like to house there. Now let's take a look at what this experience will be for your customer. You'll notice that I set this grouping to show neither line items nor their prices to the customer. Instead, all they're able to see is the total of the line items in the grouping, as well as the grouping title and description. Again, this is a great way to organize an estimate or invoice with a lot of line items, as well as keep track of the line items without providing all of that visibility to your customer. The last Field Pulse feature that I think will take your estimates and invoices to the next level is the ability to automatically follow up on them without any manual inputs. If you're using customer communications in Field Pulse, you can set up templates and automatic triggers to contact your customer when they have not yet accepted an estimate or if they have not yet paid on an invoice. You can set up these communications to include a dynamic link to their estimate or invoice as well making it easy for your customer to click on that item and take the action that you're requesting. Thanks so much for joining me to see the key features of Field Pulse estimates and invoices. If you're a Field Pulse customer and you'd like to learn more about estimates and invoices, join us for Field Pulse 360 by registering in the Help Center. If you're not a Field Pulse customer yet, book a demo with us online today. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.